Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So Enid is a character that was introduced in the back half of Season 5 of The Walking Dead and she has recently been killed off in Season 9, Episode 15. She is one of the heads on spikes, which is the big infamous moment from the comics where the Whispers decapitate a bunch of characters and Enid in the TV show was one of those characters. She didn't exist in the comics, but in the TV show she's one of the heads on spikes from the comics. And some people are really shocked, some people are devastated, some people don't care. I have to admit, um, I, I'm not a big fan of Enid. I'm not a big fan of the character. I don't think I've ever cared about her. I don't think there was ever a single time where I, I found this character to be interesting or I, I, I was invested in her. I, I, I just felt like she was, to me, in season, particularly in season 7 and 8, I just felt like she was a writer's pet. She just seemed like, I don't know, I think the actress isn't that great. I, th I think there's there was, there was times where she kind of, I don't know, she just phoned it in. or I don't even know if she phoned it in. I just don't know if she's a good actress. I, I just don't know if she has it in her. I... I, I I just she she didn't she didn't do it for me as an actress, so uh, since the actress was kind of bad, and I don't want to like offend her or upset her, I'm just sort of being honest. I don't think she was terrible, and to be fair, this this is The Walking Dead, and this show is 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 well known like famous for just having the absolute best actors ever. No, well, maybe not, but uh, ha you know what I mean. Like having really really great actors always being cast in every single character. It almost seems like every character is just just perfectly casted and the actors are just great and phenomenal. There's never a, there's never a point where anyone is doing a weak job or is, or is giving a weak performance. So if if you know god forbid one actor just doesn't cut it and you know they're young. I mean, she was you know, she was casted when she was fifth like she looked like she was 15 or 14. So I mean, that's young. I mean, she might not even want to be an actress, you know? And she just stayed for the money, but yeah, she kind of to me she kind of stood out like a like a like a sore thumb. I just don't think the actress was that good, and I just didn't care about the character. I think I think when the actor is weak, it's really hard to care about the character, and I just never liked her. I mean, it, it doesn't help that in the seasons five through eight, she's a lot of her scenes were with Carl, who's another actor that Chan, Chandler Riggs, the actor that plays Carl. That's another actor that I'm not particularly. Um, impressed with as far as his acting chops go. So it's like the, we got these two actors that are just not that great. And there's a reason for that. It's because they were cast on the show when they were young and they probably don't want to be actors. They, they probably, you know, I mean, they're both like 20 years old right now and they probably realize that they, they want to do something besides acting. Either that or they, they want to like get better <laughs> because they need to get better. If, if they want to stay as actors, they, I'd say they should... They should work on it, you know, um, you know, maybe go go take a class or study it or something because I didn't, I didn't think either one of them did that great. And, and Enid, I just didn't like her character that much. Like I said, when the actor is just not doing that good, it's, it's, it, it, it kind of hurts the character. And I think that's kind of the case with Enid. I just don't think she was that great. I just didn't care about her. I, I felt like she was always going to be on the show because she was just that person that she's just going to stay on the show, like I said, kind of a writer's pet. Everyone has one of those. In a TV show, there's just that character that you just can't stand, but for some reason, they, they stay on forever, and you can't wrap your brain around it, and you're not, and there's other people that feel differently than you do, and you're just kind of like, ah, dang it, well, I guess I'll just suck it up and, and deal with the fact that this character I don't like is on it forever. <laughs> because uh, no one, not everyone feels the same way. I mean, there's people that have different opinions. I'm sure there's people out there that that are going to. Um, I'm sure there's people out there that love Enid. I'm sure there's people out there that love the actress. I can I can smell the dislikes on my video from here. I know. <laughs> there, there's just there's always going to be people that have different opinions than you. But I respect other people's opinions. I don't care if you love Enid. I don't care that you love the actress, um, and I'll, I'm sorry that she died uh, for your sake. Um, I think we should just, you know, respect each other's opinions. That's just, that's just how I think of it. Um, but yeah, I didn't like Enid that much. I just think, you know, she she didn't do anything in season five. Um, in season six, she was okay. In season seven, 
they kind of gave her uh, a relationship with with Maggie, and it kind of it almost like I don't I don't know what they're doing. It, it, in season seven, they made it seem like Sasha and Maggie were supposed to be best buddies because they they both lost their their man. You know, they both they have that in common. They 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 have that bond. They they both lost their man in the same way in the same scene by the same person. Negan Negan killed Glenn and Abraham. So it almost seemed like they were trying to give Maggie and Sasha a special bond. And they did. In season seven and episode five, it's almost entirely dedicated to Sasha, Sasha and Maggie's bond. And Sasha went to Hilltop for Maggie. She did a lot of things for Maggie. Not for herself, for Maggie. And she was grieving too, but she, you know, she was strong for Maggie. And um, towards the end of season seven, they kind of make it, They, I swear to God, they, they make it, they kind of make it look like Maggie just kind of dumped Sasha as a best friend so that she could be with Enid. So that she could be friends with Enid. I don't know why the three of them couldn't just be best friends or something, but that's what the season seven made it seem like. And then, then of course Rosita goes up to Sasha and is like, "Hey, uh, you want to go with me on the suicide mission? Unless you're too chicken for it." And then Sasha does it, and then Sasha dies. <laughs> so I'm kind of like Enid. Uh, I mean, I know it's not completely Enid's fault. Maybe it's Maggie's fault, but I don't understand why Maggie dumped Sasha as a friend for Enid. But that's kind of what they made it seem like. And, and then season eight, uh, again, I just don't think she was a good actress. I, I think she's hot. I, she's nice to look at, but we still have those five seasons of her to look at her. So, <laughs> eh. Um, plus, we got to keep Rosita. Rosita's nice to look at, so bye bye Enid. <laughs> but in season eight, they they try to give her like a story arc with the with the Oceanside people, and and she killed the leader, and you know she was upset about Carl, so she was bloodthirsty and wanted to kill all the saviors. But it just uh, to me it just fell flat. It didn't work. And again, I think it's because the actress just wasn't that great. They, they gave her some 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 emotional material in season eight and some things to do in season eight, like you know she was a part of what finally brought the ocean sides lazy asses to help the fight um but i just i wasn't i didn't care about enid's character and i thought the actress wasn't good um so in season nine in season nine she she barely did anything in season nine she um sadiq there's that sub that subplot where sadiq is training her to be a, a doctor or whatever a medic um and then she she cuts off it Aaron's arm and saves his life and I thought good that was good but that was episode two of season nine and they just dropped her story arc and her character from the face of the earth for, for a little while I can't remember I don't even think she was in the rest of the, like the first half of season nine well she was in it after the six-year time jump in like episode eight where they show her with Alden and, and they reveal that they're in a relationship and then for the rest of season nine she doesn't do anything until Lydia um until yeah she runs off to Henry because Alpha captures her man Alden and she's all emotional and upset because her love interest um is captured by Alpha so she goes up to Henry and is like hey I don't want Alpha to kill my love interest so can you please send my can you please send your love interest to to go continue to be beaten and abused by Alpha so I can get my love interest back thank you like i was like what <laughs> and earlier um enid um said i can go talk henry into giving me lydia he likes me like ah oh, that just that just seems like the type of person that's like a hot like a hot woman you know and, and she uses that like she she's she kind of like is nice to to a guy that she she would never go out with because she wants to use him she, you know, so she's like, oh, he likes me. I'm going to tell him to do this for me. You know, like, I hate that. that. What were they thinking when they wrote that? It just made Eden seem like a bitch. <laughs> um, it, yeah, so overall, I just never liked her character. And as far as her death goes, as far as her being on a head on, on a spike, I'm completely okay with it. I mean, she was in five seasons. She had a decent, a half-decent run. She had good amount of screen time um so if you liked her character it wasn't that bad i mean she like i said she had a decent run if you just absolutely love enid you you got season five through season nine on dvd to rewatch, and you have those forever she had a decent run the walking i mean it's hard to last five seasons of the walking dead especially as a main character you know as, as a background extra maybe you can do it like cal or tobin but as like a main character like enid 
lasting five seasons of The Walking Dead, that's not embarrassing. So if you love her character, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry if you're upset or disappointed in what I'm saying, but you still have those five seasons to watch. And I completely respect anyone that, that loves the character. I, um, I just hope that we can respect each other and, and, and disagree. And, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I just think that... I just, I don't, I didn't want her in season 10. I didn't want her in the, in the Whisper of War. I, I, you know, I just, I think it was about time to kill her off. And I'm, I'm glad they did it. I just don't think she worked as a character. And I'm honestly glad she's dead. You know, the heads on spikes, they had to kill so many characters. So I'm, I'm glad they, they killed Enid. Because I kind of feel like they, they got rid of a character that just wasn't that good. And they, they used the heads on spikes um, as, you know, to sort of take advantage of that and, and kill off Enid, um, so, you know, Enid took that for another character, you know, I feel like Enid took that for a better character, like Ezekiel or Rosita, you know, Enid took that for them, so I, I kind of appreciate that, I appreciate the writers made that decision with her, you know, they, they had to kill so many characters with the heads on spikes, so I'm glad they kind of got rid of some dead weight, <laughs> I'm gonna get so much hate for saying that. <laughs> Anyway, that's all I have for this video, so let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm sure I'm going to get some dislikes and some angry comments. Probably some people that didn't even watch the video all the way through and, and are just like, How dare you! But, oh well. <laughs> anyway, yep, um, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 458 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 500 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 500. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes and I will see you guys later. Bye!